Hi Pisces. Today is Thursday, May 12th. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's find out what is going on. We have the Ten of Coins, the Six of Coins, the Four of Wands, or no, this is the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Coins, the Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands, Pisces. And strength. Okay, so let's clarify this and find out what's going on. What's happening with Pisces spirits? There's something here that has to do with your home that's showing up as the first card. Why is the Ten of coins here. King of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. And Death. Scorpio Energy. You're going to be receiving a message, Pisces. And this message has to do with your work or your material world, your coins, your home. This, this message that I'm seeing coming in, I feel like it changes things for you. Like there's a change taking place. Because then we have death. And then I'm seeing you moving into the six of coins. Why is the six of coins here? Yeah, you're moving into calmer water as far as your money's going. And you could literally be moving into a new home. Three of Swords. Are you moving towards heartbreak? No, you're dropping it. Dropping it. Walking away and healing. This could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio or a Gemini's here with the lovers. Someone who was breadcrumbing you, someone who um, caused you a lot of pain, Pisces. I'm seeing you moving away from this connection. This is someone that you could have been married to with the Hierophant showing up. Could be an Aries. We have the Emperor.
you're holding it together when it comes to your home and your finances. I'm seeing it as a struggle right now, Pisces. But I'm seeing you holding it together. And there's an energy here of you taking control. You're looking at the bigger picture. And I feel like you could be with that hierophant. I feel like you are the teacher. You're not the student. You're the teacher. You're the one in charge. You're the one in control. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Four of Swords. The Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Even though I'm seeing you moving away here into calmer water and dropping a uh, heartache, heartbreak, something that you've been holding on to, um, with the Wheel of Fortune is turning and the Wheel of Fortune is saying is that there's just, you're not... There's love out there, but you're not interested in it. You don't see it because you're in hermit mode. You're healing. You're still healing and in hermit mode. There seems to be a disinterest in love right now. But I'm seeing a message here with the page of coins. Why is the page of coins here? The knight of pentacles. Judgment. And the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? We have Justice on the bottom of the deck, Libra Energy. Your walls are up, your defensive Pisces when you receive this message. And whoever is bringing this message to you, I'm seeing you're here as the Nine of Pentacles, so you are perfectly a-ok -okay by yourself but there's some type of good news that is long overdue showing up and this long overdue news that has come into your energy very slowly has to do with raising something from the dead something within you from the dead I feel like something that has kept you in hermit mode for a very long time is like these people are coming out of coffins I feel like this this energy approaching you is taking you out of a feeling where you felt emptiness and you're now raising up, which is weird. I'm getting this message from judgment. There's something inside of you that has died and it's changed. It's not the same. And it's being awoken here. Why is judgment here?
I see you here, Pisces. It's like you're looking at the past. Um, and thinking about a reunion that never happened. And you're looking at it in a different way somehow. Because I feel like there's an energy here that you were waiting for something to happen and this never happened. This never, never materialized, never showed up. This person that you have no communication with. Why is the Four of Wands here? This is someone that's been on your mind. And like I said, this could be some, well, this could be someone that you were married to, Pisces. We have the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. And you've been giving, you've been holding out your coat, cup, waiting for someone. And it's someone who where there's blocked communication with the five of pentacles so it's like you've been waiting for someone who's never showed up you've held this cup of love for them see look at how you're how you're giving this cup over to the five of pentacles and it's like you're committed to it and then we have the ten of cups so there's something here that has to do with your home why is the ten of cups here The Seven of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you take a few steps forward and then you take a few steps back. But there is something new. There's a change that's going to happen. And it's something that you're going to fight for, Pisces, and it has something to do with your, your happiness. I feel like you're... You're not going to give up on what you want. Even though you're still holding a cup to a blank wall. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And so something here is getting ready to change. And it's worth fighting for. And it's a new opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles. And it could be a move or something significant. And then we have the Page of Cups. Which is the same energy that's right here. The Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Two of Wands. The Lovers and the Eight of Pentacles. You've been up in your head, Pisces, about a Knight of Wands. This is a very nice looking, charming energy. 
I feel like you had a lot of fun times with this person. But this person, I feel like they're ignoring you and giving to someone else. And while they're doing this, you're holding your hand out, your cup. And there's nobody there. You're even, while you're holding your hand out, holding out this cup, you're working on your money, your pentacles, something in the material world I see you working on. But you need to make a choice. Both of these cards are a choice. And this has to do with someone that you have a lot of love for, Pisces. It could be a Gemini. But it's time to... I see you here looking down a new path in a new direction. But you haven't taken action yet. You're still standing like this. And then the next card we have is the Eight of Cups. So this is you turning around and walking away. From the Knight of Wands. Which we're going to see. We're going to look into this person's energy. What's happening on their side in just a minute. Because they're showing up with strength. And I'm seeing you here deciding to walk away, even though there's still a lot of love in these cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Ace of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. And the Chariot. You could be divorced from this person, Pisces, and the, the cycle has ended. This could have blend, been a blended family. Um, it's like you're looking at your home, your stability here with a lot of passion in what you're trying to create. And you're starting over new. With this walking away energy. Because there's something that you want. That you're not willing to give up on. And this thing that you want. I'm seeing you taking control. And moving away from standing here holding a cup to nothing. This is you taking control and moving away. And something that you're giving, something that you're doing, I'm seeing it being very successful here with the Ace of Swords. It's like I'm seeing you getting, you know, like some type of a realization entering into your head that this is what you're doing. You're holding a cup out to... A, to a blank brick wall where there's nothing there. And then in the person on your mind, let's look at their energy, what they're doing, because I don't see them here. I see you. And it's like you're in hermit mode. This is why if you haven't met anyone else, I'm seeing you in, in hermit mode here. You may not be getting out much. On your person's side, this could be a Leo because we have strength. And we have this Knight of Wands energy. OK, 
Okay, so let's see what's going on with this person. Why they're not even in the energy. How does this person feel about Pisces? Is this person thinking about Pisces? Why is strength here? This player is someone who is there's there's someone here that is giving to to one person and they don't even see the other person which is you they're giving to this other person here And this is where you are. They're not even looking in your direction. But this person feels stuck in some in in another commitment with the hierophant. They're in another commitment where they're feeling stuck. And they keep repeatedly I feel like thinking about you but I'm going to clarify what they're thinking about they're also stuck in their mind but they're feeling stuck in a commitment why is the eight of swords here okay so this person It's a complicated energy because they see you as the queen of swords. So they see you as someone who knows, you know, knows what they're doing. And um, they're turning their back on this ending. But yet at the same time, they're resisting going to you, Pisces, even though you're the one they want. They want this reunion, this great celebration. See, there they are, the Knight of Wands. They're wanting to rush towards you with this reunion and face you. But I feel like they're, you know, they're, they feel like there's no hope. This could be a Scorpio. This is a self-imposed imprisonment in, of the mind that is coming off of, of this person's energy. And what they're doing is they're holding on to you energetically. And they're making this own judgment call, this own decision to hold back. Their judgment call is to hold back because they feel they're stuck in another commitment here, Pisces. That's how they feel about it. They feel stuck. So it's not like a, a really happy connection here. It's, What is this person's actions towards Pisces? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Who is trying to line everything up just right before they approach you with an apology and cause a tower moment. 
Because it's like I'm seeing someone here that has restructured their whole life around something else. And um, what they've restructured their whole life around is there was new love. They went in their player energy here is the Knight of Wands towards this new love and they did it in a sneaky way they were waiting for a new ship to come in but what is this person's actions towards what is this person going to do when it comes to Pisces there they are the knight of wands This Knight of Wands, this person where their energy was all over the place. They were a lot of fun to be around. Very nice looking person. But their action towards you, Pisces, is I feel like this is showing me that they feel defeated. And they have their walls up when it comes to you. And so there's a stop in the energy here because this person is having strength to hold back and not communicate with you. It is causing them, you know, to have strength. They're working a lot, trying to think about, you know, trying to get you off their mind. But I see someone here that keeps thinking about you also. And this may be why you feel them and you haven't moved on. You're still holding out your cup to this person because you feel this person thinking about you. Okay, so let's get some advice from spirits. What does Pisces need to know? Stay strong. Be a guiding light. Ground yourself. Be love. You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. And following the path of another... Your path is being redirected to where it should be. Walk your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. It is essential to stay on your own path right now, Pisces. Something is very important about this. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this Knight of Wands want to say to Pisces? You are so easy to see through. I wish you would come back. And I'm so attracted to you. And on the bottom of the deck, I want you. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for watching and liking and subscribing. And I can't remember if I told you guys or not, so I'll just say it again just in case I didn't. Today is Thursday, May 12th. But these readings are timeless. So um, I'm just giving you the dates on here. But I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.